Rasmus Holgen speaks out for the first time since injury setback to send rallying message to teammates. Rasmus Hodgland will, unfortunately, be absent for Manchester United's clash with Fulham this afternoon as the side look to make it five successive wins on the bounce. The young Dane had just hit his most prolific form yet in a red shirt, scoring seven goals in six straight matches and making Premier League history by becoming the youngest ever play to do so. His remarkable streak has been put on hold, however, while he takes the time to recover from a calf injury. United confirmed on Friday that Hodgland is expected to be ruled out for around two to three weeks, which comes as a gutting blow to him and the team. Today, the Reds take on Fulham at Old Trafford in a 3 p.m. kickoff and Eric Ten Hag will be expecting his attackers to step up to the plate in the striker's absence, with reports even suggesting that 19-year-old Omari Forsen could be in line to make his first ever league start. Hodgland took to Instagram this morning to wish his teammates well, sharing a story of the fixture details captioned, Come on Boises! Transfer reporter claims under threat United man is at risk of decreasing his value in the coming weeks. Victor Lindelof is among a host of Manchester United players who are expected to leave the club this summer. The 29-year-old has fallen down the pecking order significantly this term, making just 10 Premier League starts and only really being called upon to fill in for his sideline teammates, the likes of Lisandro Martinez, Rafael Verani and Harry Maguire all rank ahead of him in Eric Ten Hag's estimations, it seems. Now, with Luke Shaw expected to be absent for an extended period, likely until the end of the season, and Tyrell Malaysia nowhere to be seen, Lindelof faces a pivotal run of fixtures being played at left back and away from his usual comforts in a central role. He has replaced the England international in the past two matches, with both substitutions coming around the halfway stage. Should United place Lindelof on the transfer market at the end of the season, reporter Dean Jones believes the Swede's value may decrease if he is unable to perform to a high enough standard in his new role. Manchester United fans would be fearful of Lindelof at fullback, and it's definitely not ideal, Jones told Give Me Sport. In fact, it could prove harmful in a number of ways if he does play there again and it goes badly. One of the main things would be confidence in the player, but more than that, from a club perspective, I'm wondering about his value. I have heard that Lindelof is one of the players under threat this summer, as Manchester United look to move players on so that they can refresh the squad. Any high-profile errors are not going to help their case, and we've already seen plenty of times before how Manchester United get stuck with players they can't offload if they fall into a bad rut of form. This is risky ground, and he is really going to have a lot to prove if he does step into the role. I am bringing Manchester United closer to India, fan behind Sulskjaer tour reflects on special weekend. Manchester United legend Ole Gunnar Sulskjaer visited Bangalore, Mumbai and Delhi on a three-day tour earlier this month. Stretty News caught up with Tilak Gorong Shah, a Manchester United fan responsible for the club icon's first ever trip to India, to try understand how the successful tour came about. Solskjaer has been out of work since leaving Old Trafford three months into the 2021-22 season and he is no rush to return to management, but knows he can't wait forever to return to management after already turning down multiple offers. The former United manager was linked with the Bayern Munich job earlier this week, although nothing has materialized yet and Thomas Tuchel is expected to remain in Bavaria for the remainder of the season. Instead, Solskjaer is using his time away from football to travel the world, meet United fans and watch the beautiful game in different countries. Respected journalist Andy Mitten joined him on his travels to India and you could tell from the article published by The National that Solskjaer still watches United regularly. Tilak explained why he brought Solskjaer to India and how a dream became reality. I met Ole in Manchester at a similar event, Tilak told Stretty News. While all the fans there, me included, were gushing at the prospect of spending time with him and saying how much he means to us, I thought it would be a good opportunity to share some anecdotes about India, and that he would be pleasantly surprised to see how much the Reds in India love him too. Lo and behold, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer toured India for the very first time, in what will go down as a historic three-city visit, interacting with hundreds of fans.